Hi everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. And thank you for being a member of Spiritual Direction Colorado. It can be isolating to be a spiritual director at any point, um, but especially now in times like these. Um, it's such a blessing to have you as part of this community simply for your presence. So my name is Rachel. I'm a member of the leadership committee with Spiritual Direction Colorado, and I'm also the founder of Fratres Day Spiritual Direction and Ministries. And what I'd like to do today is to talk about body work within the context of spiritual direction. And this is important for two reasons. Uh, both spiritual and practical and professional. Uh, from a spiritual standpoint, when we're meeting with somebody for spiritual direction, we're looking at the entire person. And we call it their spiritual life because that's a specific iteration of their whole life. But the function of spirituality is that it creates integration in every part of the person's life, be it their physical health, social health, financial, whatever it is. And so including the body as a necessary piece of the full person, and including physical health as a necessary piece of the entirety of the person's wellness, the directee's wellness, is crucial if we're going to seek to serve the entire person through spiritual direction. And from a spiritual or theological standpoint, depending on your tradition, this holds a lot of water. If we see the human person as a being that is made of spirit and body, one is not necessarily more important than the other. And from a practical and professional standpoint, we're seeing body work come up in so many caregiving professions. Um, you might have heard of somatic healing in mental health counseling or somatic processing, which is essentially the practice of looking at the way the body holds on to trauma or experiences or memories and working from that, uh, working through that lens to promote healing. So as spiritual directors, we would do well to keep up with this trend and to see the body um, as the bearer of so much wisdom that can be tapped into as we help our directees to discern and to process um, their spiritual life. So what I'm going to do now is lead you through a simple bodywork exercise that you can use with your directees as a simple way to bring the body into the room just as much as the soul is into the room. Um, and this is truly just one of infinite ways that this can be done. Um, and if you're not a practicing spiritual director, this can just be an end in itself for you as a way to tap into your own body as you continue growing spiritually. So to get started, um, just make yourself comfortable wherever you are. Um, I usually actually like to lie down on the floor for things like this. Um, but if staying seated is your thing, that's great too. Just whatever position facilitates being in touch with your body, being in touch with yourself. And once you get there, let's start with some nice deep belly breaths. Fully filling the lower abdomen all the way to the tops of the legs so that the abdomen is completely rounded off all the way to the tops of the legs. And exhaling fully into the surfaces beneath you, whether it be your chair or the floor or a bed. And allowing your exhale to linger just a second or two longer than the inhale. Because this triggers what is known as the borrow reflex or the barrow reflex, which is essentially the opposite of the fight or flight response. 
This kind of breathing communicates to the whole body that everything is well. The threat has passed. Oxygen is not scarce. And the body can go into the rest and digest state. Because when, when we're in the fight or flight response, a lot of those functions can temporarily shut down a little bit so that the body can prioritize being able to escape the predator or fight or whatever needs to happen. And so if you're breathing like this and you feel maybe your stomach gurgle a little bit or maybe you get a little sleepy, that's a good sign. And the body can be trapped in the fight or flight response long after the threat has passed. Years, decades. And even if you mentally know that you're safe, sometimes the body needs a little extra confirmation. through this type of breathing. And still inhaling deeply into the belly, on the next few exhales, Imagine a wave going down your whole body, from the top of your head to the ends of your toes. And as the wave passes over and through every part of you, allow each part to soften and release. And allow the wave to bless every part of you. You can imagine this wave as the Holy Spirit or some kind of kind divine force. And notice how your body naturally responds to this kind of force. And then return your breath to the surfaces beneath you, inhaling deeply into the abdomen, exhaling fully into the surfaces beneath you. And now search your body for any part of you that is speaking up in any way, whether through tension or tightness, an itch, or something else. Still inhaling deeply into the belly, begin to imagine that you're sending your exhale to this part of your body. With every exhale, filling this part of you just a little bit more. And with your breath, invite this part of you to share whatever it is that it's trying to say.
It can be tempting with feelings like pain or tightness to brush over them out of fear that if you give it more attention, it will bring you more pain. But pain is nothing else, a method of communication for your body. Sometimes this can be disordered through things like um, arthritis or fibromyalgia. But a healthy nervous system is simply a system of communication. So with your breath, honor this part of you that is trying to communicate something on the behalf of your whole self. Notice what thoughts come to mind as you do that. Because it could be that these thoughts have been stored in this part of you. And with a spirit of generosity and hospitality, provide a space for these thoughts to be received by your whole person. And once you feel that this part of you has spoken its peace, send a few more exhales to this part of you as a gesture of gratitude for holding on to this information. And gently informing it that it doesn't have to hold on to it anymore. Because the message has been received and its work is done. And this part of you is free to rejoin the rest of the body as a cohesive part of the whole. Still inhaling deeply into the belly. Again, sending your breath, your exhale, back to the surfaces beneath you. In this place of stillness, call to mind the presence of the divine, whatever that means for you. And take note of where they seem to be. Whether it's within you, around you, somewhere in the room, or far away. Without any kind of analysis, just notice that. And begin to relax your attention. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Feel your clothes on your skin. Become aware of the room around you. Mm 
So thank you for giving this a try today. If you have any questions about body work and spiritual direction, you're more than welcome to reach out to me at rachel at fratresday.com or by filling out a contact form at fratresday.com. Thank you again for being a part of this community, and I wish you spiritual and bodily wellness in the coming weeks. Thanks so much.